Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Feiyu Tech A2000. Now, this is the kit version of this gimbal, so you're not only getting the gimbal system you see right here, which supports up to roughly a little over 4 pounds, I believe 4.4 pounds it can support, so you're not throwing a red camera on here, but this is ideal for mirrorless cameras like the Sony a6500, a6300, even the a7R line or a7 line is going to fit very well on this gimbal and in terms of supporting realistic lenses, nothing too large, but still full frame or APS-C Panasonic cameras. This is a friend to anything under four pounds, but that's not all you're getting in this kit. It retails for $7.99. I didn't mention that. You can see a little bit of advertising here that this is the 10th anniversary, um, an online exclusive that Feiyu is doing with Amazon. I did purchase this product, full disclosure for anyone curious, and it does come with a 32 gig SD card, but more importantly, what makes this the kit is the two-handed uh, support system that also comes with this. Now, you better believe, I did my homework, I've been watching this space for a long time, I've watched Feiyu, I of course could have sprung for the extra cash for a Ronin, but to me this had appeal because from a mobility and battery life standpoint and flexibility standpoint, it seems to check every box. And of course, that's what I'll find out through the course of my use with it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. Some nice packaging, if you're not familiar with this company, I have been for years, but again, I was waiting. The beginning of my interest in gimbals really came with the DJI Osmo, but here we have what, in my opinion, is again, far more attractive than what you're going to get from a manufacturer like DJI, and that's why I really like what Feiyu put together. So first and foremost, the carry case that I'm removing right now, now this carry case comes exclusively with the kit. You will not get this carry case if you purchase uh, the A2000 gimbal alone and then you know decide later that you'd like to pick up uh, the other component, the two-handed grip. Uh, you do need to purchase this in the kit combo, which of course I will include a link in the description to. Uh, it goes on sale here and there. I'll also have a promotional code um, I did speak with Feiyu, told them I was buying this, told them I was interested, so I will be furnishing everyone with a code uh, as soon as possible that should get you 10% off on this, good savings, on a product that I already think is, uh, even though I haven't used it yet, what I've seen is very affordable for what it accommodates. So let's go ahead and open this up. And by the way, the case on its own retails for 50, around 49 US dollars. Just so that you understand exactly what you're getting for that additional money of going with this kit. So we've got some paperwork in there. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out, see what we got from Feiyu. So it's a thank you from Feiyu, ready to shoot, Amazon at 21KEG, because that is Feiyu's direct shop. Right there, a little quick flash of that. And then the other thing is essentially I'm going to say a quick start guide, but I haven't gotten into that yet. So let's see. Your warranty. And as I expected, what appears, appears to be some instructional uh, paperwork, alternate languages, and hello. Yes, I'm excited. So let's open this because anyone who follows my channel knows. Oh, and lest I forget the 32 gig SD card that they include. Anyone that follows my channel knows that I just have a plethora of cameras that are going to feel incredibly comfortable on this thing if it does what I expect it to do. So we get a 32 uh, gig uh, Kingston branded SD card. Nothing wrong with Kingston. Always have liked them. Uh, I've reviewed products of theirs in the past. This is a class 10 and I don't see a rating for UHS one or two, but hey, it's a freebie. Let's get down to the gimbal. You've waited four minutes. You're patient. Here are the goods if these straps stay open for me. And again, remember the bag, 50 US dollars. So it's not a must have, but hey, it's incredibly convenient to have everything in a single package. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. So uh, right now the gimbal itself is sitting center. I'm gonna go ahead and try to take this apart. I'll have to retrace my steps from my own unboxing video. I don't know if that's Velcroed in or not. Hopefully I'm not breaking anything. That would not be a way to start this, would it? So there is the gimbal itself. 360 degrees, uh, three axis stabilization, uh, 
I would say what appears to be a very solid build, some Feiyu branding, uh, the red, I actually think, and black contrast is a nice design, something I wouldn't necessarily expect. Um, and everything feels very solid, all aluminum. Uh, the actual mount, obviously, for the camera, quick release. Uh, everything feels, well, I presume it's quick release, but everything feels really well made, which at this price point, it should be. Moving aside from that three-axis stabilization little wizard, which, by the way, does have... I didn't mention its own mounting on the bottom. So if you don't want to use this on the gimbal, let's say you just want to throw it on a tripod uh, and use it remotely because Feiyu does have their own application, uh, iOS and Android. You can download it and control the gimbal uh, wirelessly, which is another added bonus, which I think makes this interesting. Here we've got our battery charger. This is part of why I picked this product also is that even though it uses very traditional, a traditional battery system that's rechargeable, the battery life is phenomenal. You're looking at uh, anywhere from eight plus hours of use, and that to me is an impressive feat. So here is our actual mount plate for your camera of choice. I'm gonna be sticking these back in as I take them out. Now, the gimbal handle, the single handle is right here. And you know it's relatively light, but still all aluminum, some rubber here. You can see we have the actual button for controlling it power button right there, still image capture button, and then the dial that allows you to actually turn the gimbal in any respective direction that you could want. We also have a trigger here on the front which has multiple options uh, based on the number of presses. I'm not gonna get into that now. That'll be something uh, for the full review if you wanna lock focus, uh, if you uh, on, or rather lock on a subject, if you wanna put it into selfie mode. All can be controlled with this, and to my understanding, there has been a firmware update that has polished that even more. Uh, as you can see, we have a tripod mount here, uh, a threading, I should say, so that if you do want to mount this directly on this handle, you can. Uh, that's something I do plan to be playing with as well. And then I would assume this is how you insert the batteries right here. It just screws right off, kind of like a flashlight, and there you go. Pop them in, you're good to go. And as I mentioned, the battery life at eight hours seems very good. Actually, Feiyu rates it higher, but that's what I've been seeing in reviews. If it does better, even better, right? So we've got uh, eight, uh, excuse me, four of these rechargeable batteries included. These are rated at 1800, well, excuse me, 2200 mAh. So these are pretty powerful rechargeable batteries. They are branded as Feiyu Tech. Uh, I'm not sure what lifespan will be like on these, but I'm not worried. Again, this is a quality product. We've got a micro uh, USB cable here. This is designed specifically for Sony cameras that leverage the multi-port so that this way, while your, let's say, A7R Mark III or A6500, A6300 is sitting on the Feiyu gimbal, you are able to actually control the shutter with that still image button that I just showed you. So that's another nice feature, especially for Sony users that can take advantage of it. Now to the actual double handle, which you can see is considerably larger, which it needs to be, because remember, this is going to be your support system uh, for using it. I have it backwards there, let me flip it around. And you have the ability actually to collapse this, which is really nice as well, using these screws right here. Again, everything feels really well made. On the right grip, we have our control unit, just like we did on the single-handed uh, version of the gimbal system. Same exact design, trigger on the front, power button, still image capture, and what I presume is an LED for the actual power uh, indicator. Batteries appear to screw in on this side. As, well, it's both sides, I should tell you right now, because here you are going to need to use all four. I believe. I'm going to unscrew the other side just to confirm, see if I'm wrong. I may be. And it looks like I am. So you do not need to install all four batteries. It's still using, which makes sense, because you are still using the same gimbal. I just thought maybe the way they were routing it or engineering-wise, that may have been part of the... The issue. So here's the collapsing mode I was talking about, which you can lock with these. And essentially the gimbal will sit right on this and you just go to town uh, right from there. And essentially that is, I believe that is the mounting position right here is where uh, it'll connect to 
this connector, this, yep, we got our male and then female contacts, and then you're good to go. And you can use this, as I mentioned earlier, uh, with, you can actually use it in conjunction with the tripod. You also have this option, which is nice. It kind of, again, emulates the Ronin's capability to permit you to mount uh, the camera on its own self-standing uh, support. You can also do time-lapse with this, which I think is really cool. I put this in backwards, but don't sweat it. I'm not going to. But that's another nice thing. So when you have this set up either on the double handle or mount this with your gimbal and tripod, uh, you can then use the app to create time-lapse. Another nice thing, especially since Sony has eliminated time-lapse uh, from their cameras. So this is kind of does fill that gap. We have a little Feiyu Tech box. Let's see what's in there. And I do think this is worth getting. Of course, you could buy a Pelican case and you can go all out and really protect this thing at a whole nother level, you know, making it crush proof. But I think this is even nicer to have. Uh, now, this appears to be a mini jack to micro USB. We have some spare parts, it looks like, and a cold shoe. You know, if you want to attach a monitor for video out, you have that ability with this. So that's another good thing to turn this into a real pro, in my opinion, pro grade uh, gimbal rig. Just remember, weight support is capped out at 4.4 pounds. So don't expect, as I mentioned before, to put a you know Sony FS series uh, video camera on here, or of course a RED series camera. You're gonna have to step up to something a little beefier. Uh, over here, we've got some more cables. What do we have? This appears to be, this is another mini plug to, I don't, I can't even see what that jack is. And then we've got another mini plug to mini plug. So when I mean, you have a lot of these, I'm assuming actually connect to the gimbal itself. Let's see, have I covered everything that is in this packaging? It looks like I have, but I'm double checking. Uh, I thought there was a little included tripod, but I don't see that. Here, if I can get this out, let's see. That is the little included tripod. Made sense, it was the last thing. So, Feiyu does provide you with this plastic, um, small, really low profile tripod. Uh, so that's another nice added bonus. Uh, and of course, you can just attach that right here. Simple screw on, and you've got the ability to seat your uh, gimbal and like I said remotely control it which is incredibly cool even if you go with the single handle version remember that you do not need this dual handle uh, grip bar uh, the rig system in essence it's really ideal for those of you that are, plan on doing any long-term shooting uh, because after a certain amount of time of course this is going to get heavy so it's nicer to have weight distribution across two channels with the double-handed grip so that's the beauty of that. I think the grip on its own, the double-handed, uh, runs roughly 200 US dollars when it's not on sale. I think that's retail. The Feiyu retails for $650 right now. Uh, you can get this kit presently already at 719, which is reduced from the 799 that I paid for it. So you can, you can right now buy it for less. And then once I have that discount code for you, you're looking at an even lower price. And this, like everything that I review as a piece of technology, will always go down in price. So bear that in mind. If you don't need it today, if you don't have to have it right now, even though it is a fairly new piece of tech, so I think it's exciting for anyone who's in the market for a gimbal. Uh, if you have time, of course, you can wait and see the price soften. But again, from an affordability standpoint, comparing this to the Ronin, which maybe I'll do at some point down the road if I want to, I don't have a personal need because I really think this does everything that I'm going to want it to. But uh, you're looking at 900 for the Ronin versus, again, the retail of 800 here. But I feel like the flexibility of what you're getting in this package and the control being far more user-friendly I see too many advantages. Trust me, if I felt the Ronin was the better choice, that's what you'd be looking at today. So barring unforeseen circumstances, I don't plan on comparing this to the Ronin because I really do believe that Feiyu has accomplished what I was waiting for them to do. That just happened to rhyme. But that pretty much covers it. You're looking again at the Feiyu A2000, a perfect gimbal system, it appears, for especially Sony mirrorless cameras, but any mirrorless cameras, Panasonic, your manufacturer of choice, as long as, again, you come in under that payload of 
4.4 pounds, and it should yield video quality footage that really you couldn't have dreamt of even five years ago without being a full-fledged filmmaking production company or something where you had a budget that just really didn't, uh, you know, it didn't matter. Let me put it that way. Whereas now we've got something value-oriented that really delivers on a promise that used to be unachievable for amateurs, hobbyists, enthusiasts, and even professionals alike. But that's it. There you have it, the Feiyu A2000. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them. Hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe. Later.